Welcome to section 4.1.6, part 2. This video is going to uh, focus on problems 49 and 50. In 49, we talked about going from graphs to rules, and in uh, 50, we talked about going from rules to graphs. So let's start by looking at our first problem that they gave us. They gave us this graph. Now, I've used some colors here that kind of coordinate with what we saw in the previous video. And what I'm going to do is we've got to know two things. It's knowing where to look and what to do. It's nice. They've already given us a growth triangle on this one. They've gone from one lattice point to another. And we see that it went across one. We know that the change, horizontal change, goes on the bottom. And they went up two. I'm checking that against this at the bottom. Zero to one is one. And two to four is two. That gives me a rate of change of 2, and so I'm going to write that in in my rule. Okay, once again, 2. Remember, the growth goes on the x, and the next thing I have to find is where it crosses the y-axis. So here's the y-axis. I'm looking for where this line and the y-axis cross, and it happens right here at 2. It's positive, so it's going to be plus 2. I can rewrite this rule um, just a little bit neater. I don't need to write 2 over 1, so I can write as y equals 2x plus 2. Okay. I'm trying to do these fast because I want you to know that they are easy. This is one of the easy kinds of things that you can do. Okay. On this one, okay, they did not give me a growth triangle, but I can see a couple of lattice points I can use. And... Let's start here. I'm going to go from here to here. So over 2. Well, I think it's over 2. And then up. I'm going to check it against my scale real quick at the bottom. This is going from 0 to 1. So even though it's two blocks, each of those blocks going that direction is only worth a half. Going this direction, I'm going from 3 to 7. So from 3 to 7 would be 4 in the positive direction. Okay, that gives me a rate of change of 4 over 1, or growth rate, which is 4. I'm going to write them down here at the bottom. Okay, so that's done. Where does it cross? Crosses at 3. Crosses the y-axis at 3. So this becomes plus 3. I'm going to simplify my rule slightly. Once again, y equals 4x plus 3. Now, okay, next one, B, C. Each one of these, they did something a little different to kind of make it a little tougher. Um, they gave us the growth triangle in this one. No scales on the sides. Just know that this is 1, and this is a growth of 8, so that's 8 over 1, and it crosses the y-axis at 5, so that's plus 5, and so I can simplify this rule to be y equals 8x plus 5. Okay. Next one. Only tricky thing here is the line's going down. They did give us the, they at least drew in the growth triangle for us, so we don't have to guess where it's at or, or find our own points. This went over from 1 to 2. That means there's a change of 1. And this went down from 6 to 4. So that's minus 2. It's going to be minus 2 over 1. And let's see, where does it cross the y-axis? crosses the y-axis at 8. So it's going to be plus 8. Right, right, rewrite the rule, y equals negative 2x, because it's going down, plus 8. That's what negative 2 over 1 will give us. Okay. Next one here. A lot of the students in class today did not, uh, you guys didn't catch what happened here. This is where 10 is. 
So I don't have 10 lines. Let's see, if this is going up by one, they didn't put the scale, but if it's going up by one, this would be one, two, three, four, five, not 10. So let's try going up by a different scale. Two, four, six, eight, 10, that works. So I'm just gonna put some numbers in here. Two, four, six, eight. And um, this is pretty simple going side to side. They're going over by one. And so I can now put in my growth triangle. Growth triangle, let's see, I'm gonna go from here. So there's that direction and that goes from negative one to one. That's a growth of one in the positive. And I'm gonna go from here to here. Let's see, that's going from four to eight. So that's going up by four. So that means four over one. And let's see, where does it cross the axis? Crosses it at eight, plus eight. So, simplify my rule a little bit, make it a little neater, four X plus eight. Last one was really easy. Um, they gave you the growth triangle, one. They gave you the that part of it, which is negative four. And they told us where it crossed the axis at positive 12. And so now I'm just gonna simplify it as y equals negative 4x plus 12. Okay, now we can reverse this process. Remember this came from where it crossed. This was a growth triangle. We're gonna go backwards now, okay? In the book, they asked us to graph several different lines. I'm gonna change markers here as fast as I can so I don't waste much time. But the first one was y equals 4x plus three. Y equals four X plus three. Okay, so now we're gonna go backwards. I'm gonna make me a graph. Okay, remember this is where it crossed the Y axis. So if that's where it crossed the Y axis, let's go backwards. One, let's make the scale one. And that's gonna be right there. That's one, two, three. And now we're gonna make a growth triangle starting from that point. Now my growth triangle, if they if it's a whole number, I know it's going to be 1. So I know this is another way to write 4 over 1. So I know they went across 1 and up 4. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, sorry, you know, I got those colors backwards. Went over 4, went up 4, and across 1. So I got the numbers right. Just got to try to stay consistent with what I'm doing with you here. So I start here at my three, I go over one, and then I go up one, two, three, four, to right there. And I put another point there. So I have two points now. And if I take a straight edge, draw it through. Okay, now it's gonna be really fast on these other ones, but I just wanted you to see it went over one, up four. Let's see what we can do on the other ones as far as the time we have left, which is less than a minute on this. The next one was y equals 3x. Okay, the trick here they didn't give us a starting point. If they didn't give you a starting point, it's zero, which is right there. Then the rate is three, so I go over one and up three, put my point, so I went over one, up three, draw my line. The next one was y equals negative three x plus eight. Here we go. I'm gonna leave the scale off for time, but the scale is one. Start at eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm gonna start right there. I'm gonna go over one and down one, two, three. So I went down three, put my dot there. If I had a good straight edge, I could make that work that way. And the last one, 
the uh, we're not going to have time for. So good luck.